What's up guys, today we're going to be learning how to play the solo from Overkill by Colin Hay. So let's get started. The first part is just this surrounding this chromatic, this chromatic chord thing that he does. So you're going to start on the 7th fret of the G string. And this is practically all on the G string here. 7th fret. You're going to slide up to the 9th fret, go back down to the 7th fret, and then the 6th fret. Then you're going to slide down, 2nd fret of the G string, 4th fret, and then you're going to play that 4th fret again, and then slide up to the 5th fret there. Then slide up to the 7th fret, back down to the 5th fret, down to the 4th fret. Okay, so that whole first part. Now you take your pinky, play the 7th fret of the D string, then 2nd finger on the 5th fret of the D string, then 4th fret of the D string. Okay, and then the next part, it's kind of tricky. You're on the 4th fret of the D string, I think you're already there actually. Uh, play the 4th fret again, and then you play the 5th fret of the D string, and then pull off. 5th fret of the A string, open A string, and then you're going to shift your hand position, your first finger is going to go on the 1st fret, I'm, I'm, of the 5th uh, the fret of the A string, and then the 7th fret pull off to the 5th fret, 7th fret of the low E string, and then the 5th fret of the A string twice, and then 7th fret of the low E. So slowly that whole part goes like this. Okay, practice that a little bit, you'll get it. The next part is this double stop. Okay, all I'm doing it there is I'm barring the seventh fret of the A and D strings with my first finger. Then I'm going, then I'm hammering on with my third and fourth finger to the ninth fret of the A and D strings. Okay, and then I'm doing the same thing for the next part, for this part, barring the seventh fret of the of the D and G strings, hammering on to the 9th fret of the D and G strings. <clears throat> and then I'm actually, I'm not pulling off there, I'm actually playing the 7th fret of the D and G strings after that. So it goes hammer on, hammer on, and then actually play that. The next part. Okay. With the first finger, I'm sliding up from the seventh fret to the ninth fret of the D string. Ninth fret of the G string, slide down to the seventh fret of the G string. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next part. So you're going to go to the 6th fret of the G string, slide up to the 7th fret, okay, and then you play the 7th fret of the D string, 9th fret of the D string, 7th fret of the A string, 9th fret of the A string, 7th fret of the low E string, and then slide down to the 5th fret. Now this part goes a little fast, this from the 9th fret of the A string, and then that slide. That part goes faster than the, from, uh, than the rest of the part, excuse me. <clears throat> there we go. And then the next part. Okay, you're gonna play the 5th fret of the low E string, you're gonna kinda hang on that for a little bit. 
Okay, then you go up to the seventh fret of the E string, eighth fret of the E string, tenth fret of the E string, eighth fret of the E string, seventh fret of the E string. So it's going to be. That's that full part. Then you palm mute this next part. <clears throat> You're going to palm mute on the low E string, fifth fret of the low E string, third fret, second fret. Boom, boom, boom. And then this is the part where it goes, it kind of goes by a scale. Let's take this part by part by part. So we have that, and then we go up like this. So the first string in this scale-like pattern is you're gonna play the third fret of the low E, then the fifth fret of the low E. On the A string, second fret of the A string, fourth fret of the A string, fifth fret of the A string. The same pattern goes on the D, 2nd fret on the D, 4th fret on the D, 5th fret on the D. On the G string it's only going to be the 2nd fret and then the 4th fret. Then on the B string, I think that's right. Okay, so on the B string, it's going to be the 2nd fret, the 3rd fret, and then the 5th fret. And then that same pattern on the B string is on the E string there. 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret on the E string. Now on the E string, you're actually going to go up the string, so it's going to be like that. And then what I do is I shift my hand position where my first fret, I mean, my first finger is on the 7th fret there. So it's going to be 7th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret. And then shift your hand position again. 12th fret on the E string. Then you go back down to the 10th fret. 12th fret. You slide up to that 14th fret. So, so far we have... Play the 14th fret again. Okay, then you play the 12th fret of the high E string. Pull off to that 10th fret. Then the 12th fret of the B string. Then you play the 10th fret of the E string twice, and then the 12th fret of the B string. So that whole part is... Now this next, okay, you're going to be playing this chord, this is the, let's see, you're going to have your second finger play the 11th fret of the G string, third finger is going to be on the 12th fret of the B string, and your first finger is going to be on the 10th fret of the high E string, you're going to play that twice. Then you're going to play the 9th fret of the high E string and the 10th fret of the B string. So it's... You play that once. Then you play this chord. This is the 11th fret of the G string and the 12th fret of the B string. You play that once. And then you keep this in this position, but you go down to the 10th fret of the B string and the 11th fret of the G string. So that whole part, and you play that last one once. And now the final part of the solo, sort of, is... Okay, so this part is kind of like a five chord, power chord here. You're gonna have, you're gonna have the fifth fret of the, of the D string, and the 7th fret of the 
of the G string. So it's going to be, you're going to actually play that as a chord. And then you're going to hit the 7th fret of the G string. 5th fret of the D string. 7th fret of the G string. And then the 6th fret of the G string. So in all, it's going to be... Then you do that. Then you're going to do that exact same pattern, but on the power chord, but on this E power chord down here, the second fret of the of the D string and the fourth fret of the of the G string here. I'm going to get my hand in there. And then the last part of the solo is like this. third fret on the G string, you're going to play that twice, the fourth fret on the G string, okay, then the second fret of the B string, play that twice, and on that second time you slide up to the third fret, and you are done with the solo from there, so thanks for watching, I hope you bared all 12 minutes of that, um, yeah, so subscribe for more guitar lessons and tips, and thanks for watching.